building off-road trucks. This is a big part of the income and it's been able to make this tiny house dream possible. Here's the thing about Josh, the things that he likes have a lot of gear to it. Working on cars, a lot of big gear. He's really into his craft cocktails, so he doesn't just have like, oh, a bottle of booze and a glass. It's like 50 glasses. These cool, unique bottles of booze and mixers and stirrers. Is this Nana's China? Oh! I guess that's trash now. I'm really good at paring down. I just break the stuff and you can't take it with you. And they like to entertain, so they have a lot of friends over too. So we need space for all their stuff and for all their friends. And this is our space for storage. They'll have these doors on the back and all of this will be area for tools. So we knew we were gonna do a deck and we figured, okay, well, we can just put stuff underneath the deck. We did that before in, in Tennessee, but the deck wasn't high enough off the ground. So Zach came up with a great solution and that was to build in some seats, which is really built in storage. Ah, Zach. You know, we were able to Ooh, get a bunch of storage built in. Cool. Usually if it doesn't fit in the house, look, it doesn't get to come, but Josh had all this big, heavy equipment that he needed to work with for his job, and so we had to come up with another solution, and that was storing it outside, and I think it works. Go for it, John. Oh, that's so yeah. awesome. So cool. This is, is what a tiny so house is all about. Cool. Yeah. It just feels so much larger. Every time we have a big challenge on the show, it's actually a big opportunity for us. And I think Zach in particular nailed it with the bar that opened up, the accordion window, and the huge deck outside. These are things that we had to overcome, and I think we did in a really cool way, a unique way. We turned out an awesome house. I'm really proud of this one.